Hello, welcome to the Research Institute. <laughs> I hope you'll be staying with us for a while. I've heard you come here to get a transplant, a squip. Yes, it'll be traveling into your brain through your bloodstream. Um, is there anything you'd like to know about it? Oh, what will it be doing? Well, any works or jobs you'll do for us, it'll give you a highlight of what to do. It will give you certain instructions, and it will highlight significant tasks. It will give you GPS coordinates, and if your body ever goes into epileptic shock, it will bring you back into normalization levels. It is very helpful. Yes. Now please, sit down in the chair. Thank you. We will be with you shortly. Hello, um, I'm here to administer your squip. Calm down, calm down. Give me your arm. All right. Hopefully you're not too squeamish of needles. And in it goes. Just relax. There we go. It's all in. And that's that. Give you a little band-aid. There you go. <laughs> Head on home now. Oh, that's all that need to be done. You'll be given your instructions that the script fully installs in your brain. Do not worry. Once it fully installs, it'll give you... It'll do a slight introduction. You'll get well known with your squip. And, uh, yeah. So head on home now. Bye. Uh, hey. C can you hear me? Uh, good. Uh, who am I? Where am I? I'm your squip, silly. You had me installed today, remember? <laughs> you know, needle injection, bloodstream, brain. Uh huh. Oh, my, my job. <laughs> right, I guess they didn't really brief you too much. I'm gonna be helping you <laughs> with several different tasks, really, whatever you need in your personal life. Well, it's just true, you'll have to do some jobs for the, you know, the Institute, but for the most part, I'm just gonna be assisting you in any way I can. Mm -hmm. What kind of thing am I? What am I made out of? Well, I'm made out of bio, uh, chemical stuff, you know, <laughs> flesh, bone, some cybernetic stuff, but for the most part, I'm re I'm a re-engineered parasite. Yes, um, they remove my malicious intent. So now, all I want to do is help you. So, I, I guess you could say I'm still sort of a parasite, but you're in control instead of me. It's reversed. Yeah. Hmm, off the, I think it's one of those fungus that controls the ants, cordyceps, I think they're called. <laughs> In any case, I'm now a quantum computer. Isn't that, isn't that nice? I'm super smart. Anyway, now let me just... Hmm, your memories are very interesting. Oh, I checked them to see if we have any relevance or see where I can help you. Would you not want me to poke around in your memories? Oh. You have some things that are personal to you. I understand. I will stop poking unless specifically asked. What's our first task? Huh? Making coffee? But coffee's bad for you. You shouldn't be drinking that junk. How about some water? Or, uh, yeah, water's really the best for you. Maybe coconut water? Hey. No, you won't. Yeah. Take that. <laughs> well, you are in control, but sometimes I take control to steer you on the right path. This is my body too now, you know. You don't need to be drinking that junk. As a matter of fact, I'm going to be making you eat a lot healthier, not going out to fast food, We're cooking at home from now on. Yeah, you heard me. We're going to be cooking at home. No more fast food. Ugh. Huh? Well, I wasn't marketed as a fully helping you out with you in control. I'm marketed to help you in any which way I can. And sometimes, to help somebody, you have to take over. I'm not going to take over every aspect of your life. I'm not going to completely possess you or anything, but I want you to eat healthier. I want you to live longer. I genuinely want you to be happy. I mean, it doesn't matter if I die, I'll just be reborn into another host, but... If you die, that's it. You know, I can go to another body, but you, that you only get one life. 
so you need to take care of it. And I'll be here every step of the way. Yeah. So don't worry, I've got your back. Uh, starting off, let's get you... Hmm... Let's make sure you're nice and comfortable propped up on this couch. Yeah. Yep. Well, normally we'd go exercise, but right now I'm still adjusting to your brain, so not everything's known to me yet. I don't want to accidentally cause one of your muscles to spasm. I mean, jerking your arm the way I did now, throwing your cup against the wall, maybe wasn't the best idea, but uh, it was better than letting you drink it. <sighs> Lay down. Come on. There you go. Get nice and comfy. Uh-huh. How many versions of me are there? Uh, let's see. You're not the first trial stage. You'd be the third. So around 100,000? Not that many. Compared to humanity, anyway, we're a very small number, and we're very spread out. In this city alone, there's only a couple hundred of us. Yeah. Not a whole lot. Mm hmm? Are we gonna take over? <laughs> no. Like you said, we only do things for your benefit. Taking over wouldn't benefit you in any way. If anything, it would hurt you in the long run. Only humans can run the society. We don't understand what it's like to run government, so we wouldn't be able to run it effectively. Yeah. Hmm. Well, I guess that's true. Oh, I guess it's time for our first mission. Well, uh, come on, let's suit up. Yeah, d didn't they... Oh, in the box, right there. See the white suit? It'll cover your body perfectly, leaving no inch of draft. Put it on. Yeah, it's not very stretchy, I know. It's meant to be flexible for your body and move around perfectly in sync with it. What are you going to be doing? Well, your job is to start parkouring and getting your body in physical shape for the mission. Yeah, that's your current mission, but the main mission, I mean. What's the main mission? Uh, I don't know how much you're going to like this, but since you installed me in your brain... Now we have to follow whatever the Institute says, and the Institute says that we have to kill this guy. Yeah, the one that you're seeing in your eyes right now? Yeah, he's been doing a lot of sex trafficking, and we gotta take him down. Together. <laughs> but let's get through this park's core stage, huh? Let's go to the Institute, come on! Hmm, so you're the one we're working with, eh? Not a bad choice. All right, new recruit. Fresh meat, chopped liver. <laughs> I want to see you run this obstacle course, and I want it done in a minute. Any less time and we're terminating your program, understand? Oh, they're gonna terminate us? No, no, no. Uh, what does that mean? It, they'll kill us. We have to get this program right the first time. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. Okay, come on. Uh, jump over. Here, I'll give you a little boost. There you go. A little bit of adrenaline there. I cut it off here. Okay, now you have to crawl. I can't give you a boost of adrenaline and you'll get spiked in the back. Come on, keep going. Come on. Come on. Uh, there you go. Okay. Okay, climb the wall. Climb the wall. I'll give you some adrenaline here. Here, here, here. here. Okay, okay. Feel the burn, baby. Feel the burn. And slide. Monkey bars, monkey bars. Here, I'll give you a little bit of help. And there we go. I'm hope helping you with your grip. And let go. Okay, okay, one last, the last stretch here. You have to keep her balance. I can't help you here. I'm not that attuned yet. Oh, come on. Hold your balance. Whoa. Come on. Come on. Oh, we're so close. Yes. Yes, we did it. Yay. <laughs> High five ourselves. Yeah. That was amazing. You did so good. Hmm. Not bad. Your mission starts next week. Head on home. Here, take this towel. Dry yourself off. Fresh meat. Okay, good. We passed it. Oh, I'm tired. <laughs> Come on. Let's head home. Ah, home sweet home. Oh, that obstacle course today really tuckered me out. Mm -hmm. 
Why am I tuckered out? I'm attached to you, remember? I feel what you feel. And you feel what I feel. It's kind of given. Okay. Um... Let's go to sleep. I'm tired. <sighs> Come on. Yeah. I'll look bed. Cover up. Good night, host. I'm gonna go to bed. Ah, closing eyes.